Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe below. And yeah, hit the bell so you guys know when I post another motherfucking video. Yeah. I'm trying to get this intro thing in. Like, I want to have, like, an intro of me saying, like, you know, welcome back, bitches. But I haven't got that down pack yet. Um, so, yeah. This video. Oh, and before I um, go any further, um, you're going to have to excuse Stella and Bella. Because Stella is making noises. And Bella is gurgling. So, yeah. And I'm sucking on a peppermint. So, excuse Stella and Bella. Because they're going to be making noises. And I can't help it. It's just what they do. But anyway. So, I wanted to make this video. Because I wanted you guys to know exactly why I chose to get the SG surgery. So, if you guys want to know why, continue to watch. Oh, uh, look at these hands. They look so mannish with no nails. <sighs> y'all hear that? I got clothes on, y'all. I really got clothes on. But anyway, so... The re and I was going to write this down, but I was just like, you know, I'm going to go off the dome. And hopefully this video is not super fucking long. Anyways, uh, guys, uh, damn. I just be going off topic and shit. Sorry. Anyway. So, the reason why I chose VSG surgery is because... Um, I was, I wouldn't say I was a heavier girl growing up. I was, I think I was average. I was in like a 10 or 11 in jeans. Like I wasn't big, but I wasn't little. So yeah. Um, so I was like average or maybe a little above average I don't know but I was like 10 11 12 in between those ones so after um, I would say okay so I had you know I had sex at a young age so I got on birth control and um I tried a few before I got on the Depavera shot and um i was on that shot for three years and that shot made me so told you i told you that shot made me so big like super big like i had never like i was so depressed while I was on that shot because I had never in my life gained that much weight. It was so sad for me. Like I just it was just like I seen myself go from like a nice size. Like I was a like ten in between ten and ten, eleven and twelve size jeans was like, okay, I'm good. You know, I'm good. But to go from that to, like, a size 20 in, like, three years was so depressing. Like, it was so, so freaking depressing. And, like, I cried a lot. Like, I was just, like, I remember the first day I got my shot, and this is off topic, but I remember the first time I got my shot... I came home and I ate like no fucking other. Like, 
when I tell you guys I had a big ass bowl of cereal like this big was like I had like a mixing bowl of cereal and I couldn't understand why I was eating so much called the doctor actually called Planned Parenthood because that's where I got the shot called them and was just like what is going on like what's going on and they're like oh you know that's a side effect um because it basically tells your body you're pregnant whatever whatever so I was just like what the fuck but as a young teenager um they sold me with you don't have a period so as a young teenager you're like oh like I can like not have a period so you're like bitch I'm in there well I gained so much weight and then um I want to say when I was about 15 or 16 um was when my eating disorder started and I had an eating disorder for a year and a half. I was anorexic. So um, for a year and a half, I just <sighs> my health was not good for a year and a half. Um, I, um, my mom found out what was going on and basically gave me an ultimatum, like, if you don't start eating, I'm taking you to the hospital and you're not going to want to go to the hospital and all this other stuff. Um, so, um, slowly but surely I started eating again and, um, I did pick up some weights and fast forward to my adult years my weight has always fluctuated like up and down up and down up and down up and down and like I would get to like 199 then it'd be 220 250 260 230 225 like it was always like going up and down up and down up and down and I've tried with it going up and down I tried so many um diets um oh keto um I've tried slim fast I've tried um there's a diet if you guys know um it's online it's called the five bite diet i've tried intermittent fasting i've tried um all the little like all the diets like <laughs> i've tried them all like diet pills like i've tried so many and it was just like what is going on like I went was at a point where I was working out every single day like every day and I would get to like 125 130 and it wouldn't go down any lower like it was just like I couldn't get any smaller and it would make me so angry because um damn my battery's about to die but um it would make me so angry because I'm like I don't understand how like I'm eating right I'm working out I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm not losing weight I know muscle weighs more than fat but I wasn't seeing any more change in it was making me so sad because it was like I was working so fucking hard to lose weight and um my ex's sister um got the surgery she got surgery like right after I got my breast reduction and um I watched her like the weight fall off 
I watched I, I was like oh my god like she looks really good like she looks amazing and then a friend of mine she got it too and she lost so much weight and then one of the girls that I follow on snapchat and I follow her on all her social medias um she got the surgery and I'm just like oh my god and then my co-worker got the surgery and I'm just like what if this is what I need to get past all of this? Like, what What if this helps me? And y'all, like, I was so nervous because I am a bored eater. So when I get bored, it's like, let's eat. And, ooh, she goes there. She motherfucking goes. But when I get bored, I eat. And... It was like, I had to make a choice and I was all, I was on the fence. Like I want to do this. And I was going to my classes and stuff for the surgery. But then in the back of my head, I was like, I don't know if I want to really do this. Like, um, I'm scared to have a small stomach. I'm scared to like, I was scared and I'm just like, I don't like, the last minute I showed that I was like ready like I'm ready for this blah, blah blah but in the back of my head I was just like I think I should like bypass this not do it whatever but the time the moment that I knew I had to get it because it was just going to be the same shit over and over like repetitive over and over if I didn't do it was the day I went to um, just get my yearly physical. Well, I do my physical every six months. But um, I went and got my physical and the results came back that I was um, basically borderline diabetic. And that broke my heart because my mom was a diabetic. And I have tried so hard to make sure I've gotten tested and make sure like I don't reach a weight to where I am going to be borderline diabetic or diabetic in general. And that day when I got my results back, it was just like something has to be done. Like there's no way you can keep going on eating the way that you're eating because it's not fucking healthy and it's like it was just like a light bulb that switched like that turned not switched <laughs> but it was like a light bulb that just turned on and was like bitch you know what the fuck you need to do so do it and you know that's a reason um that is the reason why i chose to get vsg surgery and my mom was very heavy and um, she had got the lap band surgery and um, you know, she lost a lot of weight and I was very, very happy that she was able to lose the weight that she lost because she lost a significant amount of weight. So, um, but I just, you know, I wanted to be healthy. Like I wanted to make sure that you know, I was like, I was choosing to live. Like, I want to live a long, healthy life. And the way that I was going, the route that I was going, like, it was shortening my life. Like, something had to be done, y'all. Something had to be done. And it was like seeing my friends and co-workers like lose the weight that they was losing was just like I can do that like I can do this like I'm scared but I'm strong like I am strong like I can do this so I did it and I am 200 well I was 271 pounds and as of this morning, I am 219 pounds. So 
Um, yeah, lose 19 pounds and I will be in Wonderland. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, like that's my reason for choosing, choosing BSG surgery. And, you know, it's a hard surgery. Like, I mean, well, without my hiccups in my journey, um, VSG is very mental. It's a very mental, um, surgery. You have to be mentally ready for this because your whole life changes when you get VSG surgery. Um, it's just not some, it's not like plastic surgery where you go and you get whatever you want to get fixed and changed up you know add it whatever you're doing and then you heal and then you're good like yeah no <laughs> no you get the surgery you heal and after after surgery your life is different from there on out you will never be the same on the inside as you was prior to surgery so you have to set your mind and be ready to understand that things is going to be different from here on out and you know after the surgery you don't you don't want to accept it um you think that you've made the worst decision in your life um you want things to go back to normal um but once you accept what you chose um and just roll with the just roll with it um you will you will be appreciative like i'm very very appreciative of the surgery now that i'm past my hiccups um i didn't think i was going to get to this point um but i am past that point and i'm appreciative there are certain times where i'm just like oh like, because when it's something really, really good, you want to eat more, but you know, you can't. And I mean, you just can't. So you have to deal with that shit. And sometimes it could piss you off because, you know, you're, you're used to just like eating as much as you want to eat. And with the surgery and uh, weight loss surgery, you cannot do that. So, um, I just wanted to give you guys uh, uh, just a little bit of uh, in depth of why I chose to get VSG surgery. And um, for those of you that are going down this journey and getting VSG surgery or um, bypass surgery, um, I wish you I wish you all the best and um, prayers and um I wish you the bombest journey ever and yeah I if you guys if you guys have any like questions you may want to ask me go ahead and ask me I am an open book I keep it so 100 like I keep it so real I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit for you because this shit is not easy and still right now I am two months almost uh a month two months and a week out and uh well nine weeks I'm almost nine weeks out and it's still some days it has its ups and its downs but you know you you're learning everything and you know even if you're one day post-op or a week post-op like just roll with it and you will be grateful that you got the surgery. And I just wanted to share with you why I chose to get VSG surgery. And I'm happy. I'm really happy that I did it. Um, so, yeah. Um, like I said, at the motherfuck... No, I'm just playing. Like, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel... Go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now. Right now, bugs. Subscribe. Yes, I'm calling you a bug because if you are watching this video, I know you're going to become a bug. 
So, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. So you guys know when I post another motherfucking video. And don't forget to like this video. Go ahead and smash the like button. And comment. I always respond to my comments. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, bitches. <laughs>